say. So it's good if it all comes out all scrambled. But um, uh, by the way, I love what you said. I find it very interesting what you have to say. Do you know what um, You talk about the experience, the coloniality. And I kind of feel like I'm experiencing this now. Because one of the, um, one of just, one of my experiences with I spent three years on Native American reservations in the US, the Navajo, the Lola Lakota, and um, the Apache, White Mountain Apache. I've gone to, um, worked in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Angola, South Africa, Trinidad, Jamaica. I'm not just saying this just to brag, but what's just amazed me is these like incredible scholars that I've met. Right. Just absolutely just blown me away. Then you turn to the UK and you go, well, are these scholars? And here we are in a, we're talking about decolonizing, you know, this whole conference. Yet it's opened up by a white male. And no disrespect to you whatsoever. But there are scholars who, who are, you know, there are scholars who are not invited into these spaces. And I think the opening up is really critical. What does it say? Like if it was all we were talking about gender and we had and it was a gender we were talking about, you know, women and you know, and we had a male to open up, there would be a discussion about yeah. this. Yeah. And I'm not disrespecting your position, I'm not taking it personal. But when I saw you I thought, you've got to be kidding, you know, and I'm not going to say that diplomacy is not really my <laughs> But I think that when we are because I think it's our responsibility of who we invite into spaces as well. And one of the, um, probably the most, um, there's, a, there's a, a song called Alan Fountain, and he found, he's just recently died, and he found in, he was one of the founders of Channel 4, and uh, he was also became the head of my film school. And what I found so incredible for his life was that he would often say, often he'd be invited to all these places. And he would say, actually, this is not my role, this is not my position. <coughs> there, are, there are other people that you can invite. And I was always amazed by that. <coughs> he who was in power actually said, you have to recognize other people. So I suppose um, it's not really a question, but I just wanted to say that I actually felt quite, I felt uneasy and at ease with this. And, um, and not to take away your brilliance and your knowledge, but we're talking about how we don't acknowledge African and Asian people in the diaspora, but we're not opening up, and I think that's really good. <laughs>